hello friends in this video we are going to talk about barrier methods what is the principle we prevent sperm to enter the cervical canal and that's why going ahead in the uterus and tubes the first common thing is a condom condom can be two types male condom and female condom they are made of either latex or either polyurethane uh, material polyurethane can be used in the people who have a latex allergy the female condom has a two rings the one ring open ring remains outside the vagina and the inner ring is act like as a diaphragm inside the vagina around the cervix what are spermicides spermicides are the chemical methods what is the chemical nonoxyl 9 it actually kills sperm or it can uh, immot it it can make the sperms immotile diaphragm what is diaphragm it is a rubber cup that fits the cervix cervical cap is just like diaphragm but smaller what is sponge sponge is physical method is actually a thing that absorbs the semen and sperms now let's talk about the advantages especially condoms condoms can prevent stis including hiv aids it also can prevent pelvic inflammatory diseases ectopic pregnancy also so it can be used by anyone because we are not doing anything with the body it is just outside the body it can be said is outside the body it can be used by lactating mothers also it can be used by uh, over the counter drug that means we don't need a prescription for that thing now comes to the disadvantages of this method this method they are readily available but the problem is a compliance with the condom the problem is interruption during sex they have uh, this uh, this method should be applied every time a couple uh, wants to go under intercourse so they are not reproducible there is an advantage of cervical cap or diaphragm that is that can be used for longer time for example if cervical cap uh, cervical cap or diaphragm is inserted before 6 hours of sex so there is no interruption in that thing and it get long uh, last long for up to 48 hours so during 48 hours the couple can use single method that is diaphragm or cervical cap so this is the particular advantage of those two methods a particular disadvantage of sponge is that it can actually sometimes it can enhance the hiv transmission by damaging the vaginal mucosa so this is the problem with sponge sometimes is the irritation and sometimes the embracing thing for the couples to have use to have to use this kind of methods so this is also a disadvantage of this method what a uh, uh, next problem is if if we have some uh, accidents like slippage or breakage of the condoms or tearing of the condoms then we have to go for emergency contraception we have to rely on emergency contraception again that is a hormonal method or it may be iucd but again these methods are not 100% secure the couples have to be very motivated and okay with the use of these methods now let's see some pictures this is a female condom these are two rings inner ring and outer ring this is a cervical cap which fits on the cervix but what actually creates problem in cervical cap is the cervical uh, the size of the cervix in different women is different 
for example for nalliparas woman the cervix may be well uh, 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 well good and this uh, cervical cap can be fixed very well but this is not true with paras cervix diaphragm can also be used along with this contraceptive jellies this is a typical male condom thank you friends